team, what's going on? Juju Bear here, welcome back to the channel. Now I have another battle here where I played uh, Lord Moore. In the last one I beat him, he was playing his Egypt and he was playing a pretty shitty build, so... Um, this should be a, probably a better test of um, how we go uh, head to head. So I'm playing as the uh, Galatians because he had picked the uh, RDAI and I do consider the RDAI to be fairly powerful uh, in Total War Rome 2. I've got a number of Celtic Slingers at the front, three of them. I've got on the flanks uh, Levy Freeman. I've also got two Levy Freeman in the center just to hold off frontal Yolos. Uh, I do have Mercenary Cappers out, out on each flank. And I've also got two Noble Horse in the center. Now this is a lot of, unit, a lot of money to spend on a very expensive unit. Uh, but I feel like if you use them right, uh, they can be useful. Up against the RDAI, you would kind of think it's a bit of a suicide mission, but you know, against the right targets, they can get a lot of kills. Uh, on the flanks, I've also got Galatian Swords, two of them. And in the center, I've got a line of Galatian Legionnaires, uh, four of them. And that's a very sturdy unit to spend 800 talents on. And in the center for Lord Moore, we've got three Illyrian Lothraea Spears and an Illyrian Marine. Four Slave Slingers, very cheap. We've also got Mercenary Celtic Warriors. I think there's three of them backing up. Uh, those guys are two Mercenary Axe Warriors. And up the back, we've got... I think it's four Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. Yep. No, five. Wow. Five Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. We've also got two Mercenary Tarantines there as well. So, you, you definitely have to go through a lot of... Oop, a lot of very cost-effective, uh, but still dangerous units to get to the juicy core, which are these uh, Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. And even then, once you get to there, I know that these guys can hold out for the end game fairly well. They've got excellent armor. They've got... Uh, was it expert charge defense? Uh, they do a, a fair bit of damage. They got a bonus versus large. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can kind of do something with what I've got. Now I've kind of arranged my units into a couple of wings. So on each wing, I'm going to have Celtic Slingers, Levy Freeman, uh, that are going to be uh, meat shielding for those two Galatian swords, and then a mercenary capper up the back to hold off. So that's going to be my idea, and I'm going to go for a really wide surround here. Uh, and kind of split up my opponent's attention. Uh, in the center, I have this solitary Celtic Slinger. I know that I'm not going to win this skirmishing engagement against these Slave Slingers, um, so i pretty much given that up altogether. I'm going to pull back and kind of get my opponent to move up uh, just so I can surround from three very different uh, directions here. So Lord Moore's going to not take the bait, but he's going to kind of uh, answer accordingly and split up his units a little bit He's going to form a couple of different fronts here. And I'm going to move on his position and start to fire with my Celtic Slingers. I'm going to push back his Slave Slingers with my uh, Mercenary Cappers if I can. Don't want to take too many uh, deaths from these uh, Illyrian Marines, so I turn them around just in time. It looks like I baited a volley of Javelins, but it, in actual truth, I just kind of turn them around at the right time. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm actually pro. I'm actually heaps pro. Celtic Slingers getting a couple of kills where they can. I'm, I'm actually not doing... I'm actually trading uh, a lot better with the Slave Singers than I thought I initially would. So it's not going too bad so far. Noble Horus is going to be pushing up. I kind of sense that this is a good opportunity to, to kind of charge in. Just because he doesn't really have any precursors around to, to get into me. I knock over a lot of these Illyrian Thraya Spears. But I'm going to have to turn around uh, quick smart if I'm going to kind of survive in this engagement here. We do get a nice charge with these Galatian Legionnaires on these Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. He didn't get a counter charge properly, so it's working out well for me. These Galatian Legionnaires are going to get a good charge on these Mercenary Axe Warriors and probably shred those units. I got Levy Threeman coming in here to... I think I was going to try and get some rear shots here, but maybe not. I'm going to pull out my Noble Horse. I only lost three men there. And these Galatian Legionnaires are going to destroy what's left of these Illyrian Thraya Spears. Over on this flank, Celtic Warriors against Galatian Swords is going to go quite well for me. Uh, he has popped uh, Raised Banner, which is not a bad idea. I keep forgetting to use my um, Hero's Ability. Uh, so I've just gone into shield wall up against these uh, Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. And I'm going to start to push back what's left of his uh, his infantry over on this flank over here. So Levy Freeman might be able to catch these save slingers at some point. So still starting to push. And I've got a very, very, very wide surround happening here. Uh, you can see he does still have a lot of these Illyrian Thraya Spears up the back that have not entered combat. These Noble Hoppertes getting to my Galatian Legionnaires. Actually doing really, really, really well there. So it's going to be a tough fight, pretty much all across the board. I'm making some headway over here against these Celtic Warriors. Managed to shred those units without any effort, uh, really. 
I, I am starting to work my way through these Illyrian Noble Hoppites just because I'm, I'm around the flank and I'm getting some pretty good morale uh, buffs against those units. These Illyrian Marines actually getting a lot of uh, shots in here on my Levy Freeman and my Galatian Legionnaire, so not a bad, not a bad choice at all. I'm gonna start to push here with my with my cavalry. He does start to um, bring up a Noble Hoppites to uh, to answer my my push there, so I'm gonna pull back. Galatian swords over here. Probably gonna send them into into battle against these Illyrian Marines. Um, so my opponent all the while is actually doing a really good job of um, blocking any gaps that are forming in his formation with his cavalry and his uh, noble hoppertes. So I am starting to to wrap around fairly wide, uh, finishing off Celtic warriors, uh, you know, getting shots into the flank, all that kind of thing. But look how many spears he's got in the back line. It's going to become really hard to get into anything at this point. I'm going to charge into his Illyrian Noble Hoppertes, knock down a bunch of those units and get out of there quick smart before his mercenary Tarentines can hold me down. I'm going to have to do something about it because I do have some skirmishes back here that I want to keep alive for at least a little bit longer. I am starting to make some headway over here. We did destroy a Noble Hoppate and we're going to start to move on this Illyrian Marine and probably shred it very, very quickly. It's gone into square formation though, so it's not going to make it any easier for us. These Levy Freeman... Uh, charging headlong into these Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. God love them. They're going to get absolutely shredded. So just holding them up for a little bit longer. I'm looking for this kind of opportunity with these uh, Slave Slingers. I'm going to push with my Commissioner Capitations at some point. What my opponent did really well though is he, he was focus firing my units in the center. So he was using his Slave Slingers to just shoot on those positions and get some good kills. Um, fairly unopposed as well. So over here these Cappadocian... Uh, Cav, they get a half decent charge against these Illyrian Marines, get a couple of kills, but I'm going to have to get out there fairly quickly uh, if I want to avoid taking too many too many uh, losses there. Galatian Legionnaires pushing up on our position. These mercenary Tarentines, I don't know what they're doing, I think they've got a bit of a death wish. So they're charging headlong into my uh, Galatian Legionnaires. Uh, sorry, these Tarentine Cav are going to get shredded by my Galatian Legionnaires over there. So my opponent does have a lot of units that are left in reserve. I do have a fair bit of cav. And in the center, my Galatian Legionnaires are holding up fairly well with our shield wall activated. But they are going to need some help. So th this, for example, my opponent using his uh, Slave Slingers to just fire on my Noble Horse, you know, very quietly, just kind of taking their toll, uh, getting a lot of kills in a very short amount of time. So he's done an excellent job there at taking out a very expensive unit uh, off the field. So over here, finishing off these Slave Slingers, I'm going to push back his Mercenary Tarentines. Going to have to turn around if I don't want to take any more damage there. Get a nasty volley from these Illyria Marines. Noble Horse going to push through and get into his Slave Slingers. These guys are very expensive. So again, that's an awesome uh, benefit of playing the RDAI. Your skirmishes, your skirmishes are just that cheap. This does not matter. Getting kills on these Slave Slingers is not really uh, you know, much of a loss, really. Mercenary Cappadocians holding up. I'm hoping I can hold down these units for long enough to get my Galatian Legionnaires in amongst them. He's going to pull out, so I'm going to pull out my Cappadocians and get into these Slave Slingers here. Hopefully get a couple of kills back here as well. My opponent's uh, Noble Hoppate is getting a lot of kills against my Le Galatian Legionnaires. They haven't really lost too many men, and they're actually, you know, holding up fairly well here. Noble Hoppate is getting a good charge against my Galatian Legionnaires. Didn't get a charge back. Some pretty poor micro for me. I still haven't used my uh, general's ability just yet either. And uh, looks like my opponents won this flank uh, fairly well. And I've pretty much dominated this flank as well. So we're starting to, to form up new battle lines and they're shifting. So I'm going to start to uh, you know, fall in on this position. And my opponent is going to start to pull back and, and, and push over here as well. So in terms of mm, infantry, I'd say my opponent's got the, the upper hand. He's, he just has so much staying power in these uh, Illyrian Noble Hoppertes. They all have a fair few losses applied to them, but even then, they're just so strong. I get a nice charge with my Noble Horse in here on these uh, Mercenary Celtics. Probably going to take them out of the fight. He does chase me off with a lot of units. Look at this horde of guys uh, chasing me off here. And I do notice the problem here, and I'm going to start to pull my Celtic Slingers out of that fight. Taking a lot of da uh, damage in return. These Galatian Legionnaires probably wasting their time trying to get chew their way through these Illyrian Marines. I'm a little bit slow with my micro here. I really should just be getting into my opponent quick smart. I'm going to get a nice little last second uh, counter charge here on these uh, Mercenary Tarentine Cav. I'm going to be able to shred them fairly easily, but not before uh, these Mercenary Axe Warriors getting on the fight. I'm going to throw another Cappadocian Cav in here just to try and finish the fight a little bit quicker. But uh, it's going to prove to 
be a fair bit more losses than I thought it would. I got a pretty healthy Cappadocian Cav up the back though, and I've also got my my general, the this um, noble horse, is going to be able to do a fair bit of damage as well. Wrapping around these noble hoppetes, finishing them off for, fairly quickly. And it looks like we got a bit of a surround happening. He's chasing my skirmishes and I'm chasing his. Um, so it's actually not going terrible for me, but it's not, it's definitely not going well. I'm not, I don't really have any proper tools to deal with these Illyrian Noble Hoppetes aside from these, uh, the Galatian Legionnaires. And I've only got 53 there and 74 there. I've got 45 over here, which is not bad, but they're about to be, uh, taking out the fight by his, his general here. So his general, double XB Chevron's 158 kills so far. And a lot of those were on Galatian Legionnaires as well. So excellent job for my opponent here. Doing a sick job. My own Noble Horse General has actually picked up a lot of kills on the enemy uh, Illyrian Noble Hoppetes as well. I'm going to turn around and get a nice charge in on these uh, Celtic Warriors just to finish them off. Maybe sway the uh, balance bar into my favor. He's actually managed to catch my Noble Horse over here with 10 men left. I uh, don't really know what I was firing upon. Yep, so I'm going to be firing into the back of this Mercenary Axe Warriors with my, my Celtic Slingers here. So my Noble Horse General finishing off another unit uh, of Celtic Warriors. It looks like I'm going to do a switcheroo and finish them off with my Cappadocian Cav instead. There we go. Noble Hoppate is finishing off another unit of uh, Levy Freeman. And over here, I'm going to get a nice charge into the... I think I was going to go for the back of these Illyrian Noble Hoppates. Just to finish them off a little bit quicker. A lot of my uh, skirmishes are actually out of ammo. So look at this, I just finished off a mercenary Tarantine and now I'm going to pull back with my Cappadocians just to defend my own skirmishes here. I, I did leave my Noble Horse uh, alone for a little bit too long and they got a couple of Javelins from the enemy uh, Illyrian Marine out here. But I'm going to charge into them and, and hopefully finish them off fairly quickly. So it's looking fairly even at this point. Um, no, no player has any real advantage. I get a nice rear charge. It's uphill though into the back of these spears and these guys are very heavy spear infantry so not going to do the most damage uh, at all. I'm going to get a couple of kills here and there. These Levy Freeman were out of uh, javelins so I'm just going to throw them into combat at this point. I'm going to keep cycle charging. I, again, I'm taking a lot of damage from this Silo Marine. Unnecessary damage as well from a very cheap unit. So I should be charging in and finish them off but it looks like I'm going to run away uh, instead, which is not the not the worst option there. These Celtic Slingers, I think one of these units was still... Uh, it still did have a fair bit of ammo, so I was going to turn around and, and face him. But look at the, the numbers advantage that my opponent has, uh, especially with the in infantry. 134 Illyrian Nobles Hoppetes, 108, 157 Axe Warriors, 75 Noble noble Hoppetes. So he's done quite well to hold on to, to you know, the the bulk of his army here. I'm going to go for the most obvious target and uh, get a nice charge in on these uh, mercenary axe warriors. So I'm going to flatten a couple of those units. So I'm going to turn around and get out of there before his uh, noble hoppetes can cause me too much more damage. Get a downhill charge with my mercenary Cappadocians. And he wasn't, for the most part, uh, braced with a lot of his noble hoppetes there. So I was able to get a pretty nice opportune charge there. I get a rear charge with my, my uh, Celtic Slingers, hoping to, to knock out these axe warriors, but it wasn't to be. I'm going to have to pull out with a lot of my my cav and cycle charge back in. What Whatever ammo is left on these slingers is uh, being used on the rest of these units. It looks like they've just run out as well. So that might explain why I'm just throwing in my cav. Uh, just kind of cycling in and out. Um, trying to, to kind of pick up a couple of different, uh, you know, last second kills. Maybe take out his general. I'm going to charge kind of through the back of my own man here, so not the most effective charge. I'm going to pick up a, a couple of kills at some point. No. <laughs> yeah, maybe one or... Yeah, a couple of kills. I'm going to pull out my Noble Horse there as well. 300 kills on the Noble Horse there. Uh, 269 on the uh, Cappadocian Cav and 78 over on this Cappadocian Cav here. So it, I am starting to take my toll on, uh, the, my, toll on my opponent here. Just trying to push that balance bar back in my favor. Take out units like these Illyrian Marines. And I also want to take out these Mercenary Axe Warriors also. Um, just so I can put the pressure on my opponent's units. Uh, I know these Noble Hoppetes have some pretty hefty um, you know, stats when it comes to morale especially. I really should be taking this charge as well. It looks like I am going to be able to, to get a nice charge downhill. He manages to, to stop his unit in its tracks and uh, apply Hoppetay Wall. So I'm going to turn around and think better of it. Do I have any more ammo? Yeah, I do actually. Wow. Okay. 
So I'm going to be firing in on my opponent's uh, Noble Hopper Tay. He's getting a couple of last second kills. If I can take those units out of the fight, this Axe uh, Warrior may just fall. My opponent's got the Cav, uh, sorry, the Infantry, but I do have a fair bit of Cav left. At this point, we're both like, oh, wow. Uh, units are all exhausted. We'll see if we can kind of enter the next phase of the battle. Didn't realize my opponent had these slave singers here. But yeah, just looking at the balance bar, it's not really my favorite at this point. I'm going to get a nice little uh, flank charge. They're probably not as effective in Total War Rome 2 uh, as they probably should be. And I get a bit of a half-hearted charge downhill into some units that are fairly well braced. Uh, so I'm not going to get the most amount of kills on my noble horse there. I did pop second win just to kind of get rid of the fatigue from those units. And these guys, while they're kind of unbraced, I'm going to get a charge in here and kill off a couple more units. So the kills are starting to climb, but it's not, it's not going to happen fast enough just because there's still 42, 70, you know, 101. It's, it's a little bit too slow. So I'm going to put it on uh, forward here. Get another charge into the back of these unbraced units. Going to pick up another couple of kills. How many have we got now? 328 kills in that Cappadocian there. I'm going to see if I can get a nice ch charge into the back of these units. They weren't really braced properly. So they're going to take a lot of damage from that charge there. Noble Horse getting another XP Chevron. And a bunch of kills off that uh, Noble Hoppate there. It's on the drop fairly quickly now. Now I'm going to have to throw in my Celtic Slingers. Now what I'm hoping to do is kind of form one front and then attack him in the back with the rest of my uh, cavalry. And it looks like the, the effects are starting to, to kind of take hold here. Yellow morale and a lot of these uh, Noble Hoppates. It's probably not going to be quick enough here because um, I am going to start to get a nice little charge in here, a rear charge in here with my Noble Horse. But it's probably not going to be enough here. Every time I charge in, they I think it does count that they are braced. So I'm going to start to take a fair few losses here. These are uh, Mercenary Cappadocians. Going to get a last minute charge in on these uh, Axe Warriors. See if I can take them out of the fight. But it looks like it's a little bit too much. And then the rest is history. 21 left on the Noble Horse. Going to chuck him in. Kind of try and cycle out. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I can get a couple more kills. But yeah, look at that balance of power. It's a little bit too far in my opponent's uh, favor there. So Lord Moore winning out the second match that we played. Wow, four, almost 400 kills on the Alarian Noble Hoppertes in the end. Getting rid of a lot of the rest of my Cav. But um, 366 on the Cappadocians and 356 on the Noble Horse there. Uh, Galatian Legionnaires doing okay. I probably didn't get the charges that I need on a lot of those units. And the Celtic Singers in the end getting a lot of kills, even though I started off pretty poorly against the uh, Slave Singers. Um, and yeah, just look at all the kills in these Illyrian Noble Hoppates. They just last for like the entire battle. They just get so many kills over the course of the whole thing. Uh, 414, 173, 210. Insane amounts of kills there. So, excellent game from Lord Moore there. Always a pleasure to play alongside him. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more coming up for you guys to watch fairly soon. Uh, so, watch the space if you want to see some more. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. This is GGBest signing out. Peace.